All right, y'all, we're back out here at Elevated AF, and today we're going to be doing a bit of an interesting build. Apparently, my truck is going through the glass window. Anyway, I found a 2020 work truck that was for sale. It's an F-350. It was used for some light towing work, so we're going to go pick that up today, bring it back, and get to work on building in any level. I've been wanting to do an any level lift project for a while now, and I finally got the opportunity to do it. We got ourselves a frame ready to go, and we finally found the right truck. So I got the K30 here hooked up to the PJ. We're going to go pick up that truck. It's about a 20 minute drive, not too far away from here. So we're going to go pick it up. Guys are on lunch break right now, so they don't even know that I'm picking up this truck yet today. But I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the spot. Yep, there it is, right? next to where we picked up our honda a little while ago um you know i'll just go off to the side here should work i think that ford's actually the same color as this truck crazy let's go take a look at this thing i guess and see what uh we might be buying so this is a 2020 f350 even though it says f250 i was told it was swapped around as a joke and uh, they have the actual paperwork stating that this is an f350 so that's good it's on stock rims and tires nothing too crazy i gotta find out what the k is on it i gotta take it for a test drive of course make sure it's good to go they said it was just used for a little bit of light towing so nothing too crazy and i think it should still pretty much be good so i'm gonna go get the keys take this thing for a test drive and hopefully it's good to go all right keys acquired let's take this thing out for a drive fires right up of course all right let's see if this thing has any get up and go to it no it's it's actually pretty slow I think we can fix that though. Yeah, it kind of gets up and going a little bit, but uh, I have a few ideas to actually make this thing a little bit faster. Well, quite a lot more faster, actually. It is a diesel, of course, so uh, yeah, this should do nicely. I want a good amount of money for it though, but I think I should be able to take them down on the price quite a bit. So I'm gonna go in there, see if we can make a deal, and then uh, if we do, we'll get this thing back to the shop and the guys can get working on it. Well, we made a deal on the truck here. I'm just trying to get it lined up on the trailer. Kind of looks like a traffic cone, to be honest. Yeah, we gotta fix that. But now that we got the truck here, we can uh, get ordering parts for it. We got tons of different ideas to do this thing. It won't even look anywhere close to the same truck when we're done with it. Right now, it's looking pretty stock. So uh, we got to change that. And considering it's going on at any level lift, uh, there's a lot to be done to this thing. In fact, it's getting a brand new frame. All right, we made it back. I got to find out where the guys are. Got to get show them their uh, their new project. I don't know if they're going to be happy about this one or not. But uh, they've all been pretty excited about this any level project that we've had planned for a while. So this one, unlike a lot of trucks we've bought and uh, turned into pretty big mud trucks or whatever, this one runs. So it makes it a lot easier to actually get it off the trailer and in the shop. But I did call our guy that has the any level frame. It is done so we can go pick it up after we get this thing unloaded here. You guys can begin tearing this thing all down. There we go. Truck's going off on the lift. And uh, I don't think this thing's going to remain stock for very long. It, it's going to be changed very, very fast. The only issue is getting this entire thing off the body. Because we got a brand new frame going in there. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be quite the task. We'll let the guys get to that. But we're going to go pick up our brand new frame. Hmm. Do I need the big goose snack? I don't know. I don't think we will. I think we'll just take the little car hauler here. Because it's just the frame and tires and whatever. So, I think we should be good. Take the old uh, 6.0. But we got a three-hour drive to go pick up this frame. So, uh, we're going to be gone for a little bit. Hopefully, in that time, the guys can actually get the uh, truck good to go. They're pretty fast. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, I think we finally made it. This is the shop. I do believe right here we got to turn down this road. Brand new shop. They just got this done, I guess. And uh, now they're pumping out new frames and lifts. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go in there, see if they have our uh, frame and lift done. And, well, hopefully it should look good. Well, this is the brand new frame in any level lift. Uh, it's not hooked up to anything, of course. So, like, we can't really lift it up here. It's on uh, some... Just stock rims and tires here, but the new frame and lift is done, so we are good to go. Uh, all I gotta do is find a skid steer or forklift. One of the guys here to load it up for us, and this should fit on the trailer, I think. I don't know. It, it's, it might be a tight fit. We'll find out. All right, he's almost got her on there. It's kind of a bit of a sketchy thing here trying to get this up with the uh, forklift. There's not much room on the ramps. Well, he almost got her on here. Just gotta give it a little push. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, it's pushing the truck. That's not good. I gotta go put the parking brake on. There we go. That should work now. Yep, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Almost there. And good. There we go. Frame is on the trailer here. Get it strapped down. But should be back by tonight. We can actually get this thing unloaded in the morning and ready to go to go on the truck. It doesn't look very high right now, but uh, this is any level lift, so they do go up pretty dang high once they're hooked up. But I'll see you guys once we get back. Well, we got back roughly at uh, 2 a.m. last night, so it was quite the drive back, but we got the frame back here. Guys are working on moving some stuff around in the dealership here, but I'm going to get this frame unloaded, get it stuck on the lift. I guess they got the truck in paint because they got all the old parts off of it that we weren't going to need, like the old frame and stuff. So they got that in paint already. So once that comes out of there, they can stick it right on the brand new frame. But 
I think we're gonna use the telehandler to unload this frame versus the uh forklift there because well last forklift we tried to unload that up with it didn't go too well so we got it on there but uh, it wasn't easy so I think this should do a little bit better I hope at least I don't know we'll find out perfect there we go well frame is now on the lift here so uh they're gonna get the body on that once it's done out of paint we uh got the frame kind of painted a whitish kind of looks like a darker white because it's uh not in the light gotta turn some of these on but of course these rims and tires aren't gonna be staying on it we got uh, some new ones coming which are gonna be huge and then uh, i think we're planning to actually color match the entirety of the truck at least most of it except for uh the rims i think that we got some accent rims coming so it should be interesting to see what uh, it's going to look like when it's done. But I'm going to get out of the guy's way there. They're almost done working in the dealership there. So they can get back to working on that. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, someone's coming in here. What the heck are they? Oh, boy. That thing is rolling coal. What the heck are they doing? Um, What are they? Are they just going around? Okay, I better see what they want here. I'm guessing they're coming in to buy something because they got a trailer. They got a trailer. Are they just? Okay, I think they're stopping right there. Let's go see what they uh, want to buy here. Well, guys in the shop there, he's looking at uh, some different toys. Turns out he wants a quad. I got to take a look at this thing. I got one of my sales guys looking after him there. But look at this. Look at this. What the heck? Is this thing is cool. I want one. I was asking the guy some questions about his rig here. He said this thing is completely custom. It is like, I don't even know how this thing is road legal. I guess it's a it's a bug, so it is road legal. But he's towing a trailer with it and everything. And it rolls like a lot of coal, too. That's crazy. Okay, well, I guess we're going to find out what he wants and see if we can get him hooked up with something because uh, he's going to need something interesting to go with that. Well, we ended up getting him hooked up with a Yamaha here. He's in the office doing paperwork. So we're going to get this thing out of the shop here, get it loaded up for him. He said he just wanted something to do a little bit of trail riding with, something at the cottage on the weekend there. So... I think he should be pretty happy with this thing. It's nothing too big, too off-roady. It's just kind of the perfect mix of work slash play quad, I guess. Uh, we'll get his ramps unfolded for him and load it up. He was thinking side by side, but uh, he didn't want it too big. Because then you kind of start running into issues towing it with this thing. Because he said uh, the back suspension on this thing is not the best. So it's going to be a little bit to tow this too. This is just like the coolest off-road vehicle. He said it's one of his summer vehicles. So I don't know. Does he even need a quad? To be honest, the thing could probably go anywhere a quad could. Maybe not as small trails, but uh, still, that's still pretty cool. But I'm going to go check on how the guys are doing on the any level. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, we just had this guy come in here. He bought a Renegade from us a while back, and that's the one sitting in the bed of the truck there. And uh, he said he broke an axle on it, and it's also due for a service. So uh, about time it came in. So I don't know which axle is broken on this one. He said it's one of the front ones. I think, it, yeah, it's the right front. Also, the guys did say they're almost done the any level. They're just putting the final touches on it. But I guess we're going to get this thing unloaded here. We're going to take it over to our uh, service department here, get it serviced, get that axle fixed for him. And this thing should be back on the trails in no time. He says he's pretty happy with it overall. He bought it a little while ago and uh, he's liking it. It's a good quad. He's just been really hard on it. So uh, it's time for a service and a little bit of fixing. We'll just kind of pull it up here for now. And uh, hopefully that any level's done so we can actually check it out. Well, I'm just getting this guy's quad loaded up. It was uh, done for service and got the axle fixed and everything. He should be nice and happy with that. The guy said the any level is done. It is good to go. Good for me to check out. It's been actually a few days. So uh, the build process has definitely been going on. And uh, you guys aren't even going to recognize it. This isn't even the same truck. I, I really I really don't even think so. It looks a lot different. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it looks majorly different as far as uh the stock one went so we changed out the grill we changed out the bumper still got the f-250 we changed it out for a limited though because there was a limited that blew up and we ended up getting a bunch of parts from that so uh yeah we got a bunch of limited parts it had custom whited out brake lights had a ton of custom stuff so we got super lucky that we didn't have to uh get all that other stuff custom front headlights and uh we've got some massive massive fuel dually rims on this thing with huge boggers this is on the any level lift and uh well it's not even fully raised up so we'll get it raised up here in a minute but pretty much got this thing whited out of course it is an f-350 we just got to change the badgering around eventually got the any level sticker on the back there got a big old drop hitch on the back and uh this thing's pretty much whited out except for the accent kind of rims here this is probably one of the best builds we've done to date. I just think this thing looks so clean. But let's hop in it. Let's take it for a little bit of a drive. Man, oh man, is this thing, this is a huge truck. All right, let's lift that back up there. There we go. Lift the front up. There it goes. Oh, this thing is tall. Look how thick the truck is. Dad gum. The only thing I would like, I guess, a little bit better is uh, we don't have the right tune on this thing yet, so it doesn't roll cold. 
Eventually, we'll fix that. But of course, swanky steel exhaust tip. Best exhaust tips, in my opinion. They look so dang good. But we did do a dually conversion. Thought it looked a lot better. We were originally going to stick with singles, but we were like, this just looks too good. We actually had to switch out the rims because we didn't have dually rims. So we uh, switched that out and it just looks so clean. There's still a few little changes we got to make to this thing, but all in all, it is pretty much done. And dadgum, does it look good. We changed out a few parts of the interior here. It looks a lot better. It's all kind of whited out there. Color matched, of course. Let's test the back. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look at the amount of flex there. Oh, not any kind of Jeep flex, of course, but uh, you know, it's still got a lot to it. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Crazy Customs and Roro. They did an amazing job on this truck. And I, I think this thing looks like one of the coolest builds we've ever done, hands down. I say that about a lot of builds, but this thing just looks so clean. I really do want to keep it as the uh, shop truck, but you know, we have too many shop trucks. So I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. I think this one tops the uh, K30. I think it just looks so clean. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Go check out Crazy Customs YouTube channel. Link in the description if you guys want to go and see all the crazy and cool builds he does. He does a whole lot of really cool stuff. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Shh.